Today I am standing near the garden island in the northeastern front of our yard. And I wanted to bring you out here especially. You can see the street there behind it. But I wanted you to see a flower called Solomon's Seal. It is a tiny, delicate little flower. In fact, I saw a bee, a very large bee, while I was waiting to do this, trying to get into one of those tiny little flowers and having great difficulty. So let us just reflect for a moment on how the gentleness of our Lord sometimes comes in something as a tiny flower. Take three deep breaths and prepare to hear from him. Behold, thou art in the hollow of mine hand. Yea, in the moment that thou liftest thy voice to cry unto me, and when thou raiseth thy voice to praise and magnify my name, then shall my glory gather thee up. Yea, I will wrap thee in the garments of joy, and my presence shall be thy great reward. Lift thine eyes to mine, Thou shalt know of a surety that I love thee. Lift thy voice to me in praise. So shall a fountain be opened within thee, and thou shalt drink of its refreshing waters. Pour out thy heart unto me. From the deepest recesses of thy being, let thy love flow forth into mine. Let thy lips utter my name. Let thy praises rise in the daytime and in the night. Yea, when thou art utterly spent, then shall my speech fall upon thee. Then shalt thou lie down in peace and rise up in joy, and thou shalt be partaker of a perpetual fountain. As it is written, out of thine innermost being shall gush forth rivers of living water. Let the word of God dwell in thee richly, for my words, they are spirit and they are life. They are living and powerful, and thou shalt wield them in faith effectively against the powers of darkness. Behold, Thou art in mine embrace, rest there, for my spirit and my ways are not to be mastered by intellect, but my love is to be received by those who long after me and who reciprocate in time. For so as faith receiveth the promises, and those who seek after eternal life are recipients of the faith of Jesus Christ. For faith is the gift of God, even so. They who long for a closer relationship with me, to them shall I give a special portion of my love, that they may have the power to love me in return as I have loved them. And I give not my spirit and my love by measure, for I shall open my heart to thee and take thee within, even as in salvation thou didst open thy heart to me, that I might bring to thee eternal life. Yea, I shall hide thee in my heart that ye may experience constantly my peace and my joy, and thou shalt go more in and out and thou shalt go no more in and out, but thou shalt dwell in me as I have dwelt in you. Hear the words of the psalm writer from chapter 37, verse 7. Rest in the Lord and wait patiently for him. Do not fret because of him who prospers in his way, because of the person who carries out wicked schemes. Father, give me victory over any spirit of covetousness. 
keep me from becoming greedy or envious of those whose goal in life is to acquire position or possessions. I pray in the precious name of Jesus and in the power of God's Holy Spirit. Amen.